Hey there, everybody, this is Bigwigs, and welcome to Dark Souls 3, the official start of the Dark Souls 3 Let's Play. Not that there needs to be anything official about it. Uh, when it came out, it did like three, four to five hour live streams. Some people probably saw them. They were just, that's what they were. They were my first time playing through the game. I'm not done playing through the game, but we're kind of running out of time for my little mini vacation I took to play Dark Souls 3. So we're going to start the uh, Let's Play proper this time around. The new game, a new character. We're skipping the cutscene. There we go. And we're going to call ourselves a big orgs. With inverse capitalization. No, we are not doing that. Big wigs. We're going to be male. No. Age. We're going to be aged. This isn't our first time. This ain't our first Rodale. And we're going to be an assassin. Because I find that I like the assassin. And we are going to have. Um, not much that we need here. Parmentar is special black power and uncouth gift for the departed. <laughs> uh, probably something like a fire gem, I think. Face presets. Whoa, what's this? Can be very burly, as always. And we can change our appearance to even more if we would like. Thick body hair, thick muscular body hair, build detail. And then we can go really weird with it. Like the thinnest spindly legs imaginable. But the biggest burliest chest imaginable. Yep, and then of course we need to uh, adjust face details. Then we'll be bold as hell. Why am I like this? It's pretty good. Nose ridge. Uh, I guess we're giving him a pretty prominent nose. Oh my god. <laughs> We're getting swords. You could chop through enemy armor with this. Oh, the nose. That's what I look like in real life. Nasal slice. <laughs> getting a good whiff of that. God, this is dumb. Favorite part of Dark Souls, everybody. <laughs> Lips. <laughs> what would sad look like? Still looks pretty happy because of the nose. So we'll keep him happy. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Uh, cosmetics? Nah. Tattoo mark? Nah. Uh, skin color. Face skin color. Kermit the Frog? Uh, he is like a frogman now. Yep, that's what we'll do. So this will be the... Third time for me going through this opening section. I did one on the stream, and then after I got stuck somewhere, I was like, let's try and make a character that's built a little bit more around a class that I don't normally use. And that's what we're kind of going to go with th for this one. We're going to try and get as much treasure and things as we can. Um, there are a few secrets that I have discovered all by my lonesome that I'm quite proud of. But uh, I imagine if anyone's watching this for a walkthrough or a lore through or anything like that, they're going to be mildly disappointed. Maybe even very disappointed. Yes. We're not watching just to see someone dick around Dark Souls. Pretty good, though. There will be some PvP. There might be... Honestly, there could be like whole episodes of one PvP match with the way some of the PvP goes. Um, yeah, we're gonna kill this thing. First try, probably. Ha 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 ha. 
this is the uh, the stereotypical thing you're not supposed to kill yet, and if you do, you get fancy rewards. And... Hold on. There we go. You can critical strike him if you stagger him enough. Okay, we'll take an Estus here because he can kill you in one hit. Not, you don't have your guard up. There we go. And someone just messaged me on Steam, it sounds like. Which is rather unfortunate, but hey, that's how a uh, series has started before. Nothing wrong with that. And Titanite scale. Let's see what they said. Never mind. They, uh, we will not see what they say. There we go. Be back in a second. And we're back. Great start to the episode. Boo, yeah. But it gives us a Titanite scale, which is used to upgrade boss weapons. And a lot of souls. I mostly come and kill this guy for his souls. Uh, get a quick heads up. Heads up. Head start on everyone else. Um, I say on everyone else. On the enemies? Though I'm of the personal opinion that you don't need that many souls to uh, do well in a souls game. Weirdly enough. Enough to get your starting equipment or whatever you want your build to be. And that's about it. There you go, sir. One of the reasons I chose this class is even though the shield is not really suited to my play style, I believe it is a buckler. It has a higher chance of parry. We can take it right now. Target shield. Oops. We still kind of want it. It's designed to brush attacks aside, making it ideal for parrying. Yeah. I'm not very good at parrying. I mean, I'll get the job done for now. But in the meantime, we probably won't be blocking a lot. Rest. There we go. Oh. 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 And as you can see, even when I two-hand it, I can't kill these guys in one hit. At least, not yet. It's really quite bad, actually, in many ways. This thing on my jigger. The first box we're going to be fighting, box? The first boss we're going to be fighting was uh, Udex. Yeah, whatever his name is. Uh, if you take these fire bombs here, you can pretty much knock off half of his health. I think it's about half of his health. Um, which is fine, because you can use that to do the more difficult half. I've never died to him, but you know what? I've not fought him that often. And very important Titanite shard here. Very important plunging attack right here. Doing pretty good on our Dark Souls 3 speedrun that is currently happening where we pick up all the items. It's a weird speedrun. Fun fact, doing damage there does in fact carry over to the boss's health proper. Another fun fact, guy has very low HP. Not so low that I can't be killed by him, but low enough that you can...
one S this last. Not a big deal. Man, that's the face of someone you don't want to mess with right there. Come on, Violet. So now we have lots of seals. It's very good. We all we all definitely enjoy the souls. Not that it matters overly much. So you can still grab things here. Uh, you know what? I'm so bad at pairing. I'm not even sure why I tried doing it. We will be replacing this shield. If we do replace in this episode, it'd actually be very impressive. Um, I'm not entirely sure when to stop this because we're going to be blitzing the shit out of it. Gasp. And these guys do so little damage anyways. It's not a real big problem. There is a secret enemy here. Uh, not up here specifically. There's one over here, but it doesn't really do anything for us. So we're not even going to go fight him. Um, you can get the Uchi Katana super quick in this game before you even get any other weapon. Poke, poke. There we go. The kick on this thing is just a backward step. It's pretty hard to use because the kick isn't something that I find entirely... I won't say it's not intuitive. It'll happen on accident a lot, and it won't happen on purpose a lot. So, I'm not a big fan of kicks in general. I like those types of kicks. The ones with fancy songs attached to them. I'm trying to remember to pick up all the things that could possibly be picked up here. Mostly because as we get later and later on into levels, I will not do that because I won't know where they are. So right now I'm just trying to, you know, engender some like, oh, this guy knows where everything is. We should watch him some more. Well, nah, you know, that's probably not true. Now, if you were a smart person, you'd probably go inside and like rest the bonfire before doing this. But for some reason, the bonfire like doesn't open. By open, I mean it's like it sometimes like gets closed as if you're being invaded. Probably because I'm pretty sure this guy hangs around really close to where the bonfire actually is. All right then. So my weapon has longer range than his does. So for the most part, if I can distance him properly, I can get a lot of free hits in. Hello. He does have a parry move when he's in that stance, so I do want to be careful of that. Oh, God! Most people tend to kill this guy with pyromancy. You know, you could also use those firebombs we found before. Don't fall off. I need the items. I don't need the items, but... Chase me up here, nerd. There we go. He also gives you some pretty good souls. Extra 2,000. You get the Master's Attire. All that good stuff. For anyone who's watching this for this first video, I will say that if you were to say, I don't know, a common thing to do in old Dark Souls games, oh my god, we look great. Will you take off all your clothes to get Fast Roll? I think they've removed Fast Roll in this version. There's just Medium Roll and Fat Roll. At the very least, I haven't noticed a sizable difference. There's never been a moment where I desperately needed the fastest roll possible. That I couldn't get by with the other roll. Um, the way armor works is if you have any one piece of armor, you get a very large uh, defense bonus. Or should we say, if you have no armor, you get a defense penalty. Fairly sizable defense penalty. So, always wear armor. Even, like, shite armor. This master's attire is a lot better than if you didn't have it. And if you wanted to be really, like, anal. I'm not sure if my mouse even shows up on here. 
But you see our blue player status. We have defense here. This 86 right here. Notice how it's the exact same despite the fact that the assassin's armor is much better than the other one. That is a, uh, I mean, you can look it up. <laughs> it's just better. Having that there is really important. Hey, well, um, do I care about talking to anybody? I took the fire gem, then I don't want another fire thing. I don't really need one, do I? Uh, let's save up for a very early tower key, I think. Ashen. And dude guy probably isn't here yet. Also, we'll talk about it. Uh, we... <laughs> Agreed. I know I'm kind of blitzing this. Also, what we could do. Actually, what we should probably should do. Uh, creepy old lady, where'd you go? This character does have spells and attunement uh. slots, and we will use them for things. But not for Soul Arrow. <laughs> soul Arrow's a bit shite. And they actually, she actually doesn't have a bow that I would potentially Ashen want. One. So we will not talk to her. Don't look at her. There's actually more stuff we can do upstairs, which I will attempt to do quickly. With great haste. This area is, there's not much things to pick up, consumable-wise, except for back here, which you need stuff for. The tower key leads to here, it's the thing that costs 20,000 souls, which is ridiculous. But it's up there. Uh, I remember there was like some sort of, there's like a glitch where you run up the side of this tree and jump. I did it once and it was pointless. But you can, if they haven't patched that out. Well, they have patched it out. It used to lead up to an Esther shard. Now it just leads up to Homer bones. They just swapped around where you could find those. I think, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe I've never, never done it properly, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, how long have we been playing? Here we go to quit. I'm playing for about 13 minutes. We can like do stuff. In 13 minutes. Do some stuff, I should say. Not a lot of stuff. We can hang out in Lothric. Lothric. Find some cool schweg. There was one thing I have neglected to mention, which is the Ashen Esses Flask. We could have bought, by the way, since we do start with... Uh, a sorcerer, a staff, and a two and such. We could have bought Spell Arrow and played with a ranged character, but I rarely use those. Especially in this opening air, there's not much things you need to aggro out of your way. What I will say, though, is by using a two-handed weapon and pressing left trigger on an Xbox controller, you do this, which is a weapon art. It's unique to most classes of weapons, and boss weapons are especially unique. Now we do have an Ember. So I could potentially summon some help. Very exciting. Or I could summon uh, Sam Cam, and we could have a, uh, a PvP fight. There's not much PvP you can do at this moment, which is probably for the best. The weapon is not very powerful yet. You can kill these guys for cheap, easy souls if you have a weapon strong enough for it. The dogs will bounce off your shield and all that good stuff. Man over here will not bounce off your shield. Or he... he yeah, he won't bounce off your shield. And because my shield's a bit shite, it kind of goes through. Every attack just sort of melts right through it. Yeah, anyway, so you can use FP even when you have, like, a... Even with just, like, a melee build, which I really appreciate. Oh! So, we have to come up here quickly. Kill you. 
I think. I think I did that, right? Revenge. Yeah, this guy explodes into a huge angry monster. Uh, yeah, longbows. Glad I didn't buy that uh, bow from Lady Man Magoo. Because longbow here is probably a little bit better for us. We'll put that on right now. Good times. I know you don't have to aggro certain things, but it's just nice to have the option. Especially because our character is a character that has a lot of those things at their disposal. If you went with knights, then you do not have a lot of things at your disposal. But actually, that's not true. You actually have quite a lot of dex and uh, strength all rolled into one. Lucky you, Mr. Knight. It doesn't exist in this world. Yeah, just a few more hidden stuff. You know, just some stuff that I'm sure many people could find if they looked for it. But if they're not going to look for it, I don't mind taking credit for showing it to them. That guy summons help. He makes people less angry or less depressed and more angry. Which is not a skill you should be proud of. There we go. Also, what well, do you have? Soul of the Deceased Corpse? There's a dragon there. I mean, it mentions, but I killed that dragon like the previous, like, you know, cut edit. You may have noticed. It was pretty boring because it was just so one sided. God damn it. I wasn't really fast enough. That. Someone's throwing fire bombs. Oh my god, I've never been murdered before. First time for everything. Um, that's not true. That was just, I was too slow at hitting the guy that activated everybody. So it created a huge fuck me room. Let's check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Alright, good start. Hitting our stride. Y'all nerds didn't hear nothing. Ain't nobody called you. Ain't no one talking to you. You all suck. Any questions? I think so. There you go. Now we can sort of take these nerds on at our leisure one at a time. Raw gem. So this game is actually a, uh, let's talk about Dark Souls 3 as a whole for a little second. This game is a combination of Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and Bloodborne. In terms of gameplay, how certain mechanics work, all that good stuff. And it does it very well, I think, first of all. Ooh, binoculars. Those are very useful. Forgot these were up here. Uh, binoculars usually let you aim with spells. Not that I can test it, because I uh, picked up a bow instead of going for spells. Drop down here. Cheeky secret. Gold pine resin. Not that we need it. Our weapon is sufficient. Our shield is not. Here. Watch me fuck up this man. Fun fact, it's not that his shield is shite. The uh, weapon art for the s stock that I start with just uh, deals damage through shields when you do that power-up attack. You could go down ladder, but the game designers have thankfully put this ledge here so you can drop down without taking any fall damage. How sweet. Uh, we're gonna sprint up here. Watch out for the dragon. That could have been cleaner. Simple as the way that you love me. 
We're gonna have to listen to the dragon roar a little bit. Because we're gonna have to spend some time in this room. Gee, I wonder why there's a whole bunch of blood surrounding this chest. And why I'm clearing out the area for an epic fight. Who knows? It's a it's a mimic. I was about to open it up, just like, see, it's a mimic! Oh, oh, oh. No longer doing the uh, cheeky commentary right now. I'm uh, a little bit busy killing a naked man. I can stay quiet while I'm killing a naked man so nobody sees me with a naked man. There, we get a deep axe from the naked man. How appropriate? Or inappropriate? I forget which. Deep axe is a battle axe that has the dark ability etched into it. Um. Oh, fuck. I hate this man. He kills me. These are based, they're placed with the Balder Knights. They are much stronger than Balder Knights. And you just saw the reason for that there. I like, uh, this character likes to backstab people. Quite frankly. Um, it's just something this character likes to do. It's unfortunate. The knight doesn't have its shield up constantly. There we go. Thank God. Um, so yeah, I need a better shield if I'm really going to fight against a lot of him. Which we'll get here in a second. Great job. A for effort. We ignore everything for now and just pick this up right over. Meow. There we go. That's probably good enough for an episode. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, when we'll pick up this item. Ah. <gasps>